Yesterday, Florida Senate voted to revoke Disney's long-held tax-exempt status, making them their own separate government in Florida. And we can thank that all to Governor Ron DeSantis, who is on a tear right now. We're going to talk about this, and we're going to talk about how this is only the beginning of Disney's problems. I'm going to start right now. My name is Kyle, and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about what's going on in South Florida, actually Central Florida. This is Orlando area. It's called the Reedy Creek District. It's a congressional area which is given exempt status to Disney going back to 1968, meaning they don't have to pay taxes. The way it looks right now, they're going to be having to pay $200 million annually in taxes if this thing passes. Again, it passed the House yesterday, and we're going to cover all this and what it means. Right here is an article from Breitbart. It's exclusive for them. It says, Florida State Rep. Anthony Sabatini predicts Disney tax bill will pass. Quote, woke capital needs to be crushed, unquote. That's him right there. Goes on to say here that he predicted legislation would end Disney's special tax governing jurisdiction will overwhelmingly passed on Thursday, that's today, and the woke capital needs to be crushed. So on Wednesday, the vote in the Senate, today, Thursday, at the time of this taping, is about 7 o'clock a.m. We'll see what happens later on this afternoon. However, it goes on to talk about how this lawmaker is running for Congress, spoke to Breitbart News after the Florida Senate passed Senate Bill 4C, which would be the special tax jurisdiction created in 1967 to benefit the mega corporation that is Disney. The Florida House will vote on this legislation later on today. I come here to this particular article here from the Conservative Treehouse. NBC, they quote here, the Greedy Creek Improvement District in Orlando area shields Disney from local government regulations and from local property taxes, which would be worth as much as $200 million a year by one lawmaker's estimate. Legislators in both chambers predicted the legislation which would end the 55-year-old taxing district next summer would pass by Friday. And so we have a clip here from DeSantis making the announcement a few days ago. Check this clip out right here. We are expanding the call of what they are going to be considering this week. And so, yes, they will be considering the congressional map, but they also will be considering termination of all special districts that were enacted in Florida prior to 1968. And that includes the Reedy Creek Improvement District. Sabatini went on to say this. Today, the Florida Senate voted to repeal Disney's special tax district. Tomorrow, we'll vote yes to pass the bill in the Florida House. And to add more insult to the story here for Disney, you may ask, is $200 million going to hurt them? Well, I would argue that $200 million would hurt any corporation, no matter how big they are, especially if they are not accounting for it in their budgeting. They didn't plan on spending $200 million next year. I guarantee that. And when you have this particular thing come up here where they are the worst performing Dow Jones stock of the past year, down more than 30%, it doesn't help at all. And I'm sure Disney is freaking out right now. They've got a lot of problems. We had the video on them about their woke politics and Marty on the Marty Chronicles did a video on that as well. Go check those videos out. I'll leave links below about what's going on with Disney and how they overstepped their bounds and just underestimated what Ron DeSantis can do and a motivated Republican Party when they're together with the parents of people who don't want their kids to be indoctrinated in the way that Disney feels they want to do. What's I'm here to say in this particular article, of the 30 companies that comprise the Dow Jones, Disney has seen its stock drop the most on a percentage basis, followed by 3M, which is down 25%, and Home Depot down 23%. You can read this article for yourself. I'll read this one more quote here. It says, the Mouse House also faces difficulties in Florida, which we just talked about, where the state Senate voted on Wednesday to pass a measure that would deprive Disney World in Orlando of its self-governing status. Self-governing status. Wow, who knew that Disney had that kind of power? I, re I heard a story where someone was trying to do something. I think it was a mask. Even though the mandate was gone, they had to keep it on because Disney said it had to be done and they are the law in that area. And that right there is oligarchy and corporate cronyism at its finest. 
this should be a bipartisan issue. If you talk about people like Occupy Wall Street, this is perfect example of why they should be against this, but somehow I suspect they will not. So what are your thoughts on Disney when it comes to this and their control over this area in Orlando, Florida, self-governing, being exempt of over $200 million in taxes a year? Do you think this should go away? Do you think they should pay taxes like every other company in this country and not given special privileges, especially when they're trying to indoctrinate families? I know that's a leading question, but I'm just curious. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And as always, if you like me doing this channel, we take pop culture and politics and filter to you right, then please check out some more content that we have for you right here.